In order to drive real change in education, we first need to become conscious of the critical issues that face our school system. One school at a time aimed to spark public debate around one of the most severe challenges our educational system faces through a simple experiment. We took seven grade 10 learners into the newsroom of the Times newspaper, a mere 16 kilometers from their school in Dipsluit. Two press-ready articles were dictated to the learners, then rewritten by them and published in the newspaper the next day. There were 314 basic grammar mistakes and an alarmingly low level of comprehension. If this is the state of English competency for many second language speakers, how can we expect them to improve in maths and science, which are taught in English? One school at a time believes that teaching English as a first language will improve the level of achievement in all other subjects. The published experiment evoked a fiery response and sparked an hour-long debate on the John Robbie Show on Talk Radio 702 and other radio programs. The lines are, are absolutely full on this one. It's not a political battle, John. It's about being realistic. The Germans have got textbooks written in their own home language. In South Africa, we don't have a math textbook, which is in Zulu and, or in Bedis. Pupils should be taught English properly and they should be taught all the other languages properly. The Cape Times followed up with an article the next day, which got academics and education experts to get involved in the conversation. By creating a debate on a limited budget and getting the nation talking, one school at a time unlocked even more support to bringing English as a first language into education, one school at a time.